Her imprint is attack percentage. Woo! <laughs> it's so fucking. That's so good. And it's all, all squares, too. Yeah. That guaranteed banner about to be lit. <laughs> oh, God. What's going on, guys? It is your boy Cash, and we're here to review Diani, the staunchly pious nun of Assyria. Yeah. Yeah. It's very weird though that we have a character that is uh, a younger version of themselves here because um, obviously the, the queen in the beginning of the game is a completely separate character so we're not getting that one the one that won the war we're getting the one before that kind of weird or else or maybe this is the one that won the war i don't remember the story that well forgive me but we're about to go and review this chick let's see let's watch this video If he always does, always do the eyes. The end saint of Azera received the, the goddess's divine revelation and fearlessly led the world to victory against the archdemon. Oh, this is her. Even with the heir of the covenant missing in action. Then she later became... Hold on, before we... Let me stop it right here. Um, why, why is she not maxed out, bruh? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Sometimes the skills aren't always the same. But come on, you gotta show her, you gotta show her. I mean, look at this flex. Look at this flex. All these shining out here, man. She's max skill. Oh, she gives attack? Wow. No wonder they want that guaranteed banner. That's actually... Uh, oh, wait. You can't see because of my face, right? Let me... Yeah. Her imprint is attack percentage. Woo! <laughs> it's so fucking... That's so good. And it's all, all squares, too. Yeah, that guaranteed banner about to be lit. <laughs> oh, God. Came the Queen of Azera. Oh, she has the little water just like, okay, like Aether. Skill intro. Saint's Prayer. It's a support skill that assists in both attack and defense by increasing your allies' attack and critical hit resistance. I thought that was her S1. I was like, what the f Blessings of the Goddess. It's a defensive secondary skill that provides all allies with the barrier and dispels debuffs. Light of Judgment. It's a basic skill that allows Dien to support her allies more frequently by increasing her own combat readiness. Yeah, that's why she won the war. You see all those animations? Yeah, that's how you win a war. Raz doesn't have anything like that. <laughs> Raz is definitely not that cool. That, that's why his ass went to sleep. This chick is where it's at. Her, her shit looks clean, though. I don't know. It might, might be worth the 120, right? <laughs> might be worth going through all the artifact summons, right? Yeah, right. No, not at all. Dien is an ice elemental Look soul at this shit. capable Look at all of supporting boss, our man. allies through buffs. Not only do Dien's skills have short cooldowns, but they also support her own combat readiness. Equipping her with speed and health sets will allow her to greatly stabilize your party's attack and defense by using her skills frequently. So yeah. Pretty much what they're saying. Um, she's actually going to be uh, the opposite of Destina when it comes down to being a... a uh, when it comes down to being a healer, you actually want this one to be quick. Um, Destina you was more reactory, re reac reactionary kind of uh, mage. Uh, not mage, sorry. Soul Weaver. But this one, you actually just want her to be quick. You want her to actually go first. Um, you want her to constantly be going, taking turns. You you want her on a speed build. <laughs> like, she should be one of your faster units, if not your fastest unit to put the, the crit. As it says here, uh, when you awaken it, it uh, crit hit resistance. So it says that, um, I think it said it here, that crit hit resistance doesn't reduce the uh, chance of you getting crit, it just lowers the damage if you do get crit. And then on top of that, they do have the um, the, the artifact that reduces crit damage as well. So you can really, it's a night one, not for a soul weaver, but you could really reduce the amount of damage you're taking with this chick in a, in a night in the, in the party and really reduce crit damage and stop getting swept in arena because I mean half the stuff that crits you in the story mode is going to kill you anyway um, if it's if it's built to do that you're not gonna like not die because you have all the stuff but maybe you won't 
I know even the Wyvern doesn't actually one hit kill you. I used to think he Oko'd you. Um, um, but he doesn't. So maybe this is something like to help you really do Wyvern and do some other other content if you didn't get... Because like I said, these games are based on the units that you do have, not the units that are in the game. Because you don't always have every unit that's in the game. So if you were to guaranteed summon this or just summon it in general, the crit, uh, resi uh, the crit hit lowering will be really good she does have a barrier that dispels debuffs uh, only one debuff it says here uh in the video it made it sound like it dispels all so it takes off one current or according to this and it, the other issue with this is that slightly bad is that the barrier is based off the target's max health uh which again and this is actually not that actually now that i say that that's actually not that bad because you need speed on her not that you want her to be totally squishy but speed is what you're going to be building on her and so if you skimped out on health even a little bit it's not going to be the worst because it's on the target's health so you know they need health not her <laughs> that's why uh for cc uh sorry destina which her things are written wrong by the way I, I i think i should write a ticket that her heals um are not always scaled off of her uh, off destina's health because then the heal would always be the same you would always heal the same amount like but it doesn't you, you can sell you can look at her thing and show that it doesn't heal the same amount on every target it heals different which means it's probably based off the target self they need to fix that um but yeah she's really good she gets combat readiness on this she doesn't get combat readiness on this though but she does get it on her s3 getting herself half the bar so she gets another turn after that which is pretty good kind of a little scary on a buff because when you give yourself a quicker turn after giving a buff then you lose the how long the buff effect of this is but it's a three turn buff standard so you know I, but she kind of needs it like i said you don't really need to build hp you're going to be focusing on speed so she kind of needs that and then to give herself a barrier after that and the then the heal herself which like this skill just does nothing right effect doubles when the caster is buff oh, okay so her s1 is only good once you s2 and s3 right so yeah the buff meta is coming so you guys if people are going to summon for this character you're definitely going to need some strips some some heavy stripping because it's going to be insane insane and then what did i want i wanted to do the the artifacts uh in this one of it i i you know i could probably just do bass while i'm here too um Let's see, so the Noble Oath is the new one, right? As health decreases, defense and effect resistance increases up to 25% and then max is 50%. That is so strong. What is that on a knight? Is this a knight exclusive? It is a knight exclusive. Dude, that is stupidly good for uh, the Broly bot that just came out. Um, as health decreases, like you can get a 50% defense buff that you can't remove because it's an artifact. It's not like a buff like on the character. Ooh, that's gonna make something to really take. And effective resistance as well, so you're not stunning this guy. You're not doing any of that. That's, that's significantly good. <laughs> that is really good. I think they had another one in here too. But yeah, let me just, I'll probably just put him Bass because it's gonna be too much for me to do a separate video and he doesn't have a video. So let's just throw him back in the, let's just throw him in here, right? Let's just throw him into the fire, right? Um, so he is an ice knight. Obviously the noble oath is him bowing in front of the great queen who's clearly better than Raz. Um, let's see, so he has a 50% to decrease an attack. Damage dealt close to his health. Always great to have that. Attacks with a shield, 85. I can't see, I don't have my contacts. Dispel all buffs. Oh, okay, from the target, right? Uh, damage dealt increases to his max HP. Another HP unit, even though the HP never drops from the golem. <laughs> Jesus, man. Like, you can only have, like, one good HP unit. You can have a bunch of attackers, but not HP. All right, so his S3, the Will of Protection. Covers all allies with the Will of Protection, granting immunity for three turns. Really good. And then if you awaken it, I'm granting them immunity for three turns before granting a barrier to the caster. Oh, just he's selfish. Barrier to the strength is proportionate to. So he gives himself a, a buff, um, uh, a barrier, but gives everyone. Which makes sense. He's a knight, so he's going to be tanking the damage, right? Supposedly. Unless it's Arena and they don't really care about that at all. <laughs> they don't care about your little slot bullshit at all. Um, they only care about elemental disadvantage. So. Woof. And a new, so yeah, this is this the old pocket watch is a is a, is a uh, memory print item. I think the same thing like the the slate or whatever like that is probably like 
instant imprint for a five star. I hope because that would be good because uh, as we were saying in the thing, it is one of the items that you can actually get from here. Uh, cost 100, you can get three of them. So now that I think about it, that'd be too generous. Imagine getting three. This would be the priority right there, like to get that first and get your Diane and her free, <laughs> free attack percentage imprint on all board on the entirety of the board. Oh God, that that actually is might that might be the bigger thing of her, but. I mean, everything else in our kit is solid. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we're trying to hit that 500. And I'm definitely summoning on this banner. <laughs> I was going to go a uh, bit harder on Vildred. Because he has speed and I wanted a speed team. But then to have less summons to, to potentially get hurt go, uh, would be a crucial mistake. I mean, the, the banners will be both active at the same time. So we'll go for her. But then you gotta get all the imprints. You gotta summon seven copies. <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. Uh, these games, when they release heroes, you want them. But you know that drop rate is garbage. It is drop rate up. Let's see if it actually went, goes up when it drops. If it actually is up. You're definitely gonna see a summon video from me. Be prepared.